welcome back to my channel. I'm finally filming the flawless foundation routine. This is kind of like my going out makeup, what I do when I want my face to look flawless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And let's just go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's get started with this flawless face foundation routine. I'm getting ready to go to work right now, so yeah. <laughs> Um, but basically, this is the makeup that I like to do if I'm going somewhere special. This is not my everyday. This is my full coverage, like flawless foundation routine. As you can see, my eyebrows are filled and the top of my eyeshadow is done. I use the infamous Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette to do my, um, my eyes today. And then we'll get started with everything complexion. So... I'm going to first moisturize and put a little bit of an eye cream on. So this is the CEO of Moisturizer. I absolutely love this. This is from Sunday Riley. This moisturizer has vitamin C, it's got vitamin E, and it's got antioxidants to it. You can also use it as a primer, which I am going to put a primer over top of it anyways. But you can also use it as a primer and it has an environmental shield in it. So it protects you against pollution. This moisturizer is on the thicker side so if you have oily skin I don't think you're, you're going to like it um, or if your skin is combination even I don't think you're going to like it. This is more like normal to dry skin people love it but if you do have oily combination skin or even normal um, you might really like another moisturizer from Sunday Riley. It's called Tidal and it's a lot thinner of a moisturizer. And then for eye cream this is not my favorite, but I've been using it and I'm trying to go through it. This is the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Eye Cream. So I get a little bit of that on my ring finger and then I just kind of tap it and tap it underneath my eyes. Now that we're all hydrated, let's start with primer. I'm going to use my Optical Illusions Primer by Urban Decay. I still swear by this thing. It's one of my favorite primers for sure. Um, this one I like because it fills in my pores like no other primer. Uh, besides that, it does have hyaluronic acid, so it is a moisturizing primer as well. If you are new to my channel, let me tell you, I have very dry skin, so anything I do for my skin is going to be more on the very hydrating side. Um, I did a full palm, rubbed it in between the palms of my hands, and then just smooth that all over my face. So now I'm going to use this here. This is my Touche Clock color correcting pen. And this I like to just click once and put underneath my dark circles as a color corrector. This helps neutralize the purple underneath my eyes. And that way anything I put on top of my under eyes doesn't have to work as hard. I'm going to get my damp beauty blender and I'm going to tap it in place. So then I'm going to use this foundation here. This is my All Hours Foundation by YSL. I love this foundation so much. This foundation is full coverage and it's a natural to matte finish. This one will work for every single skin tone. I have very dry skin and I can use it. People with oily skin love it. It does keep your oils from coming through. It keeps you very matte, but at the same time, it has really good ingredients in it that also help hydrate. I use the color B30. Let me not forget to say that because then everybody asks. I'm going to start with two pumps in the back of my hand, get my beauty blender and start bouncing it. I do like to go a little bit darker than the color of my face with my foundations because I feel like I have a lot of yellow here. See how that doesn't really match? But this matches better. So I like to match my body. All right, I used those two pumps on that half of my face. So I'm going to get one and a half more and do this side. Normally I can like use two pumps for my whole face and it gives me a medium coverage. Um, it still looks wonderful on but I do because we're doing a flawless foundation routine want as much, um, as much coverage as I can get. So I am doing a little bit extra and I like to kind of pinch the beauty blender and go really close to the brows here. I do have concealer around my brows already but just so that it looks all the same color. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Vanilla. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes and we're going to help, um, use it as concealer. And because this color is lighter, it also works as a highlight. And notice that I'm going from the inner corner of my eye down the side of my nose. And then down from there. 
And this is going to help later on a little bit with like contouring the nose. So I did concealer right here in the center of my forehead, down the middle of my nose. I like to do a little bit on the cupid's bow so that it highlights it there too. And the chin. So now I'm going to start with the beauty blender and I'm going to start bouncing it. I like to do the forehead first because I don't like that to be there for too long and for it to be hard to blend out later basically. There we go. And then I'm doing my chin. And now we're going to start right underneath the eye. Make sure you're always bouncing your beauty blender, never swipe it because then you're moving everything around. All right, and then after I blended this out into my foundation, I'm going to get really close to my under eye and right here, this inner corner. There we go, nice and smooth. So same thing on this side. And then last, the nose, which I'm just going to kind of bounce in place. Perfect, so now everything is just blended into the foundation and the next step is going to set my under eyes because if I don't set them right away, they start creasing, so that's what I'd like to do first. So this right here is the RCMA Translucent Powder disguised as the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So what I have inside is the RCMA powder, um, just because we all know the RCMA packaging sucks, um, and so I repackaged it into here. My friend Marissa gave me the idea, and it was a great idea. So I'd like to just do a little bit right here on the cap, and then I grab my Sephora Collection number 79 brush, I work the powder into the brush a little bit and I'm going to look down into my mirror with my brush ready, tap any creases away and then right away tap the powder in place. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and swipe off any excess that I might have kept underneath my eyes. And um, notice how if you have dry skin, I'm not putting this powder all over, I'm just leaving it underneath the eyes. And there's a second reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to do a little bit of a cream contour, so I don't want to put any powder underneath cream contour. Um, but I did want to set my under eyes right away so that they don't look creased, basically. Alright, so then for the cream contour, I'm going to use my Tardis Pro Glow Palette. Literally the best thing about this palette is this cream contour color right here. I love it. I wish they sold it separately because it's kind of the only thing I use on the palette. Um, I also like to use this as a contour color if I'm doing just um, powder contouring, but I barely ever use the highlighters anymore. I think it's good to travel with and that way you don't have to take highlighters with you, but they're not my favorite highlighters. I just love the contour colors. Now because I've had this palette for like a year now, um, I am going to put a drop of a Josie Marin Argan Oil in and that way it's going to become a little bit more emollient and I'm going to be able to put it on better. So I think to put it on I'm going to use this brush right here and I'm just going to kind of work my little drop of oil into the whole pan and I'm going to start drawing. So I'm going to do a line. You want to go from the top of your ear on the direction of your mouth like here and stop where your eye starts. So, so I'm going to like that and I like to flick it upwards because I think it helps with the blending later on. So just like that and then I'm going to do same thing here and then I'm going to go underneath my jaw so from the ear to the chin and around the forehead. If you have a big forehead you can do all of this. If you have a small forehead just do a little bit right here on the sides. I'm going to get my beauty blender and start bouncing. If at any point it becomes like a little bit stubborn to blend, then you can go ahead and kind of bounce and slide your beauty blender. But right now that's not happening. I sometimes like to pull my hair back a little bit so that it makes things smoother and they blend better, but that might just be me being crazy. And on the back end right here, I like to kind of blend it into the hairline. And same thing with the forehead, I just blend it into the hairline, so I push it back a little bit. And then for the nose, I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to just do two parallel lines right here and try to make them as straight as possible. 
My nose, for instance, has a bump right there. And I just go over the bump with the dark color so that my nose no longer looks crooked, basically. Okay, and then right here I kind of blend it into the eye. So then I'm going to grab this brush right here. This is a Sephora collection brush, the number 80. And I'm going to go ahead and blend the color into the crease of the eye a little bit. And then I'm also going to do like up and down over that line so that it blends in place. Um, I'm not the best at nose contouring. I feel like I have to still perfect it, but this is what's worked for me um, so far and I'm not done, so don't think it'll look like that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to get my beauty blender again and I'm going to put it inside my little cap here and saturate it with powder and I'm going to pinch it and I'm going to go on the sides of the contour. And we're going to bake that contour a little bit. And I'm going to leave that there for a little while. My camera says it's overheating, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and I'm going to finish my eye makeup and I will be right back to finish the steps. And we're back. Um, eyes are done. I didn't put any falsies on because I'm only going to work and I don't want to deal with the discomfort all day. So I did do my YSL the shock mascara. This gives me massive lashes anyways. Um, this has been sitting there for a little while, so we're going to go ahead and dust it away. And I'm going to go ahead now and use some of the contour color in this palette. I'm going to grab this brush. This is a Morphe M437. And I'm going to concentrate it right there. Where I want my contour to look the most prominent. And with an eye blending brush I'm going to get a little bit of that and set the sides of the nose as well oh crap that was a lot okay so then I'm going to grab my trusty Stila bronzer still my favorite bronzer and with the same brush I'm going to get my bronzer and on a bigger area just rub it all over Okay, so now with the Beauty Blender one more time, I'm going to grab a little bit more powder and I'm going to bake right underneath the contour. And I like to go all the way from my mouth to the contour. And while that sits there, I'm going to do my blush and my highlighter. So I'm going to use my MAC Melba blush. I like to do it on the E4 brush from Sigma and we're just going to dab that over that bronzer and then for highlighter I'm going to use my trusty favorite highlighter ever Champagne Pop which has recently hit pan do you see it? <laughs> just recently hit pan right there and for the highlighter I'm going to use my Sephora number 98 brush which is my favorite highlighting brush. And I like to start right at the tops of the cheekbones and blend it down from there. Always start where you want the most pigment to be. So then with my number 18 brush from Sephora collection, I'm going to put a little bit of that same highlighter in the inner corner of the eyes and right in the center of the nose. All right, so I'm going to dust off this baggage and I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Setting Spray. And for lipstick, I'm going to use my Smashbox lipstick in Stepping Out, which is one of my favorite nude lipsticks. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Let me a like down below if you liked it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!